She didn't say she'd be right here. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Doing well. Yourself? Good, thank you. Everyone's healthy and safe inside the Everyone house? Everyone definitely is. Excellent. Thank God. Yes. Thank so you God. have no heat? Uh, well, the thing about it is we have no heat in our small boiler. Okay. Okay. All right. Lead the way. Watch your head coming down because yeah. the tall people. Yeah, Kelvin doesn't have that problem. <laughs> right here. <laughs> yeah. Now, this one uh, you serviced last year, but I think it must be a piece in this small boiler okay. that might have burnt out. Okay. Yes. When and, did it stop working? Um. Well, we haven't used it. We cut it off in the summertime right. because um, we figured being that it was the summertime, we didn't need it on. And the big one, I mean, it's working. Steam. Yeah, but, that was uh, I think it probably needs to be bled out and everything, like for the dirty water, you think? Okay. And also, one more thing. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Should I follow you? Yes, please. Okay. Okay, now, this sub pump, you also sealed last year. And it's like, okay, it's not working, and the water comes up and it smells. So pump. I haven't, yeah, from the sub pump, I haven't been able to use my bathroom. In it's months. not plugged in. Yeah, I know it's not plugged in, but uh, the thing about it was when it was plugged in, it wouldn't connect all the way. Okay. And then all of a sudden it would just stop and it wasn't flowing through okay. or anything. Yeah. All right, so we'll focus on the, the, the heat first. Okay. And then we'll take a look at that. that. I don't really do that much plumbing. Okay. okay. You know, I do mostly HVAC and heating. Okay. But let's see what we could do first. All right. And we'll check out this boiler. You're welcome. All right, Kelvin. So we got this Smith cast iron boiler. We've been here before. Now look at Testo 300. That's one of our analysis. All right, so let's figure out why they have no heat. Move some things out of the way. Let's see if we have a pilot. Kelvin, get a... Uh, Go to 516 to see if we have a pilot. Pilot in there. Do you see a pilot in there? No. No. I don't see nothing. I see a pilot in there. You don't see a pilot in there, Kelvin? Yes. No, I see. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I was, I was, I was at the uh, side. All right. Put that thing back on. Okay. Let's turn this switch on. Look at that. We got ignition by turning on the switch. Houston, we have ignition. We have ignition. Take off. How's it going? Just gotta go in the seam. Huh? I just gotta have it going in the seam. In the seam? Yeah, right there. Don't you know it's lefty loosey righty tighty? No, I had it no, I had it outside of the steam the uh, seam. Uh, There's two zones on this, but I only see one one thermostat control. Let's see. Oops. Non-contact tester. Let's see if there's any power here. power 
There's two thermostats. Okay, let me get the small Nest screwdriver. Let's go uh, back to that thermostat. Since you turned on the other one? I think it's on already, ma'am. Got this old Honeywell T87F. Let's see. You said you think it it may be the thermostat, man. We'll see. This old mercury thermostat. Okay, we'll go to the boy and see if we have any difference. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we're still working on the small one. One thing at a time. Yeah. It's still on. These kids are fucking idiots. I swear to God. It's still on. I'm not asking if it's still on. Calvin, I swear, I am Saint Mike. <clears throat> it's not circulating, but there's power there. All right, let's give the people a little update. We went to this relay box, confirmed we have both thermosets coming into it. Then I just checked the wiring here, make sure everything was a, a legit there. This circulator is coming in here. This is neutral. This is coming from the fan center. And to determine which fan center relay it was, I set my meter to continuity and I put one with the power off. One line there, one lead there, and another one at the, at the circulator. And then I determined that this zone relay, sorry, this fan center relay was the fan center relay for that circulator, all right? Then I checked for voltage coming in, that black wire right there, all right? And I had voltage there, but I didn't have voltage coming out of the relay. I tried taking a relay out, but it's stubborn. I'll show you. Pull it. Oh, look at that, got it out. It smells kind of burnt. We'll get another relay and see if that solves the problem. <laughs> Kelvin, we've got a relay. Got a new relay here. As you notice, they're not the same. But I think we'll make it work. See these terminals there are just redundant. This is the old one. We'll get that bitch in there.
I think I can feel it now. Yeah. Well, he's feeling the return side. Obviously, it's going to be cold, but both supply and return. I mean, both supplies now are hot. So we had a bad relay. Burnt up. Problem solved. Let's wait for it to turn the boiler on. It's a little pretty hot already. 100 and almost 65. We're set to like 165. Just turned on. There you go. Bad relay. We use the Honeywell R8222D 1014.